single dad who owns a local hot dog cart to help make ends meet just had his livelihood stolen. See, here's what happened. Thieves took off with his trailer, which was parked right in his neighborhood near Southeast 97th and Center Court. Amy Frazier live in Southeast Portland with more on this. Amy. Jennifer, today I met with the victim. He says that trailer was full of equipment for his business. He normally keeps it parked right over here near his home. Now it's gone. So I have a hot dog cart. Uh, I have uh, been doing my business since 2007 and I do catering and events. Melvin Baker is the proud owner of Shorty's Hot Dogs, a Chicago like hot dog push cart. My nickname is Shorty. Um, I was walking at an early age, so that name kind of stuck with me. A Portland native, the last 10 years haven't been easy. My kid's mother passed away. He's raising their 11 year old son and 16 year old daughter on his own. Melvin works full time at the airport. Running Shorty's Hot Dogs also helps pay the bills, a labor of love that's important to his family. Very, very important. On Monday, around 5 p.m., his neighbor noticed a blue pickup truck caught on camera hooked up to Melvin's 6x10 trailer of equipment. I was like, that's my neighbor's trailer. She says the thieves hit a fence and nearly ran her over as they took off with Melvin's trailer and everything he needs for his business. And I think it's awful that they're trying to take from him. They don't know him. He's amazing and his him and his kids don't deserve that. Melvin says he just wants the equipment back. No questions asked. A hot dog cart, an ice cream cart, a popcorn machine and grills. It's sad, you know, but I know they probably did it for money, you know, to try to sell the equipment. I think justice needs to be served. And like he said, his trailer just needs to they need to bring his trailer back somehow, some way. And if you have any information that could help out with this case, you're asked to contact Portland Police. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin Six News. Boy, that's just too bad. I hope yeah. somebody sees it. Thanks, Amy. Still